Hi students, welcome to my channel. This is the third part of second lesson. And with this video, we are going to complete the second lesson. First topic is science today. Today, science have developed a lot. Everything is possible with the help of science. We have an advanced technology in each department. Each and everything is automized. Automized means the work are done by the machines on by its own without the human guidance. So these automated machines are called robots. The word robot comes from the word robota meaning forced labor. The study about robot is called robotics. Robot can do jobs repeatedly faster and more accurately than human beings. The main advantage of using robot is to handle dangerous material and to explore the other planet, space, etc. Next, what are the capabilities of robot? Robot has many sensors to react to their surroundings. They know about their job and force is applied exactly what the job wants. For example, a robot can do eye surgery since it is very delicate and sensitive pressure or force is applied according to that and it also can produce a great force to assemble a car. Nowadays robot can come with AI. AI means artificial intelligence so it can take decision by its own. How do robots sense? We humans have sense organs like eyes, ear, nose, tongue, skin to sense what is happening around us. How robot sense? It has sensors to act as eye and ears. Camera is used as eye. Microphones are used as ears. Pressure sensor are used as a touch sense which are more helpful to determine the pressure or grip to put on the object like egg as well as heavy metals. They get all this information through the sensors and give the response through speaker. Last topic is artificial intelligence and nano robotics. This is the latest version of robotic technology. With the help of artificial intelligence, the robots are able to think like human. They have the decision making capability, but the work is in still progress. They have achieved to some extent. It can find a face easily even in a heavy crowd which our human eyes takes more time or not even possible when it is very far. Now coming to nanorobots or nanobots which are very very small in size that is scaled down to microscopic size. It can be seen only through microscope and not by our naked eye so that it can be injected in our body and placed in blood stream for some surgery purpose. It can target the cancer cell and destroy them without any disturbance to the healthy cells nearby. So one thing we have to keep it in mind, the advanced technology can be used for good purpose and also bad. Not only this, everything in life has good and as well as bad. We have to take the good and ignore the bad. Likewise, the technology development has both the version. So always do the right thing with the help of the upcoming technology. And that's all for this video. We have finished the second lesson and a new chapter is in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see my previous videos and the upcoming videos. Thank you.